5G will be 50 times, uh, 50, 50 times more responsive compared to 4G. And this will enable services in augmented reality and also in education. So in education, we'll be having students in very remote areas, hopefully when they have the coverage in that location, to be able to do lab experiments uh, and be able to have the feel and touch, uh, the augmented touch of, of, of these experiments without even having to, to uh, have these things physically. They'll also be able to have their mentors, uh, have their mentors virtually in that location and uh, study as they see them. So it will really help people to learn in a more natural way. Uh, because the, the speed that the base stations need, they need to get to the internet They're coming in to do a few things and printing. Um, so we're having lots of precautions and safety as we are um, So this is Lincoln Telecom's office. Um, this is where we run all of our East Africa. Um, but other benefits we can see are um, around you know, ag industrial applications. It's being deployed in things like mining. We can see things like ports, automation of ports. We can see this, this massive internet of things being deployed um, in, in some of these applications. So I think those are the benefits we can see. You know, we're seeing more, more internet of things being deployed at the moment um, in spaces like agriculture and tracking. And 5G is, is gonna be benefiting uh, some of these high bandwidth applications, autonomous vehicles, tracking of machinery. Five G is a race. It's a race for billions and jobs. That's why you're seeing different countries in I mean you're seeing US and uh, South Korea and China and Japan uh, competing to be able to deploy the network faster than any other country. Uh, and they're doing so because uh, the person who wins the race will be able to create jobs in their countries. They'll be able to enable uh, telcos in their country to build new mobile devices uh, and send it to other countries. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a map of the, of the whole of the East African network. These are the... So we're, we're, doing, we're doing fine, so we can see on the network some of the, the small links. Uh... Obviously what seems to be a trade war between the USA and China um, and the leading vendor uh, in, in, in 5G is, is coming from China as well. Um, Africa is in a difficult situation maybe because maybe left somewhere in the middle. Um, the Chinese telecoms vendors have certainly made more investment in Africa in terms of uh, the resources they've put here and the employment they've created. Um, and as a result, African operators have invested heavily in that Chinese equipment. Now we're seeing pressure from the US not to use some of these equipments and, and, and in 5G networks, they've been applying that pressure to other nations in Europe. Um, so how it will pan out um, is, is hard to know, but Africa is in a difficult situation.